So basically, you have a standard. You have expectations of the person you want to date, the person you want to marry, maybe have a checklist. I know Rachel has been well documented that Rachel back in the day, you know, back in her 20s, when she was a young lawyer. She had a checklist, right? And she wanted to find that guy, you know, that marked all the boxes. And I know men have that as well. So that's basically the question. Should you stick to your guns and stick to that standard that you've set for yourself? Or should you explore and maybe find somebody that you may be surprised by? You know, the funny thing about that question, the first thing that comes to my mind is if you were to ask somebody that, that like if you were to ask your brother or, a, you know, a girl, ask another homegirl or another homie just in the privacy of their own home, nothing bad will be said. All my girlfriends would be like, girlfriends as in lady friends, they were like, girl, you should like, you know, have a standard. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And they would say to all the, all the all the male friends, like, there's nothing wrong with that. But the, as soon as you, I feel say publicly on a public forum, yes, uh, like they have to make this much money. They have to have this body type. They have to not have kids. They have to not have been married previously. Whatever the case may be, I feel like that's when people start to have judgment upon that individual. Same exact person, but they can be saying it in a closed setting with their friends, their loved ones. Some of those same loved ones would shun another person for saying it publicly and it'd be incorrect. Now, yeah. I, with that being said, I don't think that you could be like, hey, Life Genesis said this back in 04, for those that know. You can't be a nickel looking for a dime at the same time. <laughs> that is you, I'm, straight, I'm serious. Now, facts. for those that don't know, let me, let me, I'm, a, I'm a, somebody gonna get mad that I say this, but you, I can't, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm a Walmart cashier, which I was, by the way, so I'm not coming at nobody. So if somebody thinks I'm coming at them, I was a Walmart cashier. I'm not gonna be a Walmart cashier going after Rihanna. It ain't happening. Now, I mean, you could just don't I get mad. Put, yeah, don't, <laughs> I can't, she rejects now, you. Now, I do think that I could get it when I was a Walmart cashier. I, I was a very confident young man, right? Confidence level ten. But at the same 10. time, if she's like, "Yo, baby, you got to make at least half a mil a year to you know to date her," I don't think there's nothing wrong with her saying that because she has a certain standard of living and she intends to maintain that standard of living. I what agree, man. I mean, listen. Like when it's all said and done, it's your life. Like if that's your standard, if that's your preference, like you're the one that needs to be happy at the end of the day, right? You need to be attracted to the person physically, mentally, and emotionally. And spiritually, yes. Yeah, you could hold off for whoever you want. But like you said, I mean, like you mentioned, I feel like sometimes people have or can have some unrealistic expectations. I mean, you have, yeah. you know, some men out there who want a 10 in looks. An independent woman, great cook, freak in the bed, you know, yeah. caters to basically every single need. And then dude is like still living with his mom, can't even afford to take this woman out to chill. He's like just has God, really nothing, one, nothing going for them. And it's like, OK, man, but what are you bringing to the table? And it goes vice versa, right? Vice versa. It's like, what are you bringing to the table? Like, I think there are levels. And if you're a man or a woman that's wanting to attract a High quality, high valued, and highly wanted significant yeah, other than start after human being. Yeah, then you have to raise your level in order in order to attract that person. Like, don't get mad at the person because they don't want to give you the time of day and isn't necessarily attracted to you like that. Like, it you is know, what it is. I uh, I was talking to this lady one time, and she was like, "Mike, I understand what you guys are saying. Like, you and I, we I've had this conversation with her, and she was like, these guys say that they want." xyz i am xyz and then when i get with them they can't handle it and or they're not they don't make her feel comfortable you know and i completely understand that aspect to where they're not making her feel comfortable to where she can open up and and be like okay i'm gonna let you take some of the reins on you're gonna make sure you make money are you gonna make sure that you do xyz are you gonna make sure that you say you're gonna do the things that you say you're gonna do question what what is the woman saying that she has that the other guys say they want like what are those traits specifically <laughs> literally everything that you explain the uh looks uh great career going for head on the shoulders you know kids not married uh, uh i don't know but she presumes that she's a freak in the bed uh like the everything that you just mentioned and she says when she gets a guy they're like low at first and then they're, they're they they automatically are like no 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 
no, I can't, I don't want this. I can't handle this. This is this. And they don't say I can't handle this. They, what they do is they become more laid back and lackadaisical. And I completely agree with my homegirl. I'm like, yeah, you don't need to be with an individual like that. I mean, it sounds like she but, raised some like insecurities in his, in his she, world. Exactly. And so all individuals got to realize, yo, male woman, you know, stop that insecurity crap. When you're dating someone, if you're trying to date someone that's a, a high value, you got to, you know, have that self-love within self. 